is basically an FSR that's scaling it from a much lower resolution to the screen to allow you to, to get this, but it's how good is the scaling. Two very clever technologies though, aren't they? FSR and frame gen. So a combination of the two, you can really get a lot of performance out of a lower spec card if the two algorithms work well. And FSR works on all the, the, I mean, NVIDIA is tricky, isn't it? It doesn't work across DLSS, only works for NVIDIA, their frame gen, but you know, and their frame gens are all locked to each other. But XSE, I believe, the Intel one and FSR are platform agnostic. So they don't work as well, but they work on other platforms. But it's interesting that like, Valve has just gone down the AMD road purely because I'd imagine when they start to go to Linux, AMD drivers <clears throat> have always been better I've always been open on Linux and NVIDIA hasn't, but now NVIDIA is sort of catching up. And now I'm seeing better performance on NVIDIA drivers than I am on AMD drivers. So it's a, it's a funny one. They've sort of lost their lead a little bit, AMD, but wow, Wall Steam are committed to AMD. So that's what you're going to get. So what have we got here? This is the Steam version. We're at 100, I'm seeing hundreds of frames here at 4K. It's not bad, but it's medium settings. There's no heavy lifting going on here. Okay, here we go. Scores on the doors. 120 frames per second. And that's Steam OS. You can see all the settings over there. And the frame graphs 